With Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3 right around the corner, many people have begun discussing what new dinosaurs could appear in the show. Because of this, I thought it would be fun to see what my top 10 dinosaurs or creatures I would like to see in this. Now, the rules for this will be simple. They can appear in other Jurassic films as well, but they if they have not shown up in Camp Cretaceous Season 1 or 2, they can be included. But things that have already shown up in the show, like for example the Baryonyx, I will not be able to include. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Here is the top 10 dinosaurs we wish to see in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Number 10, the Giganotosaurus. Now, this one is really low due to the fact that it's very unlikely, but with its reputation being um, very popular now due to the fact that it's been confirmed by Sam Neill that it will be making its film debut in Jurassic World Dominion, I think it's fair that we would love to see it appear in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous as sort of a little taste to see what it can do in Jurassic World Dominion. But then again, it may not appear in that, which is why it's at number 10. Number 9, Edmontosaurus. As a Canadian, I would definitely say I'd love to see more Canadian dinosaurs for one, but the re my main reason for this wanting to appear is the fact that we know it was in Jurassic World, and we know that during the time between Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it fell back into extinction. And because of this, I think it would be very interesting to see its fall to back to extinction. Number eight, the Mementiosaurus. Now, this one I was going to put higher, but I think I'm gonna keep it here. And the reason why it's on this list is mainly due to the fact that it was teased during the events of season two. Not in the show, but before Season 2 had come out, there was a lot of teasing of Mementiosaurus' return to the franchise. And because it was not shown in, in the film, in the Season 2 premiere, I think it deserves its se second chance in Season 3. <coughs> Number 7, the Stygi Moloch. This little cute Pachycephalosaurid definitely is one of many people's favorites and with us knowing that it was a very popular dinosaur I think it has a higher chance of appearing and interestingly it's one of the dinosaurs that we know is in Jurassic World that we have still not yet to see which I think means that we should get its return after all dinosaurs that were introduced during Fallen Kingdom like Carnotaurus and Baryonyx got their time on this Camp Cretaceous show. Why not Stiggy? Number six, Plesiosaurus. Yes, I know that it is not a dinosaur, but I said at the beginning that it also includes prehistoric creatures. Now, Plesiosaurus is a, is a aquatic reptile that I want to see more than anything else due to the fact that it's been part of the franchise for almost its entire lifetime. With its first um, appearance in the um, canceled um, T Jurassic Park show, Return to Jurassic Park. And with it being teased in the Mattel toy line for Camp Cretaceous and also, so um, people theorizing that it will be due to um, a hint of more aquatic areas due to Dave and Roxy in season one, I think many people will say that they would love to see this beautiful creature soar through the ocean. <laughs> Number five, the Triceratops. This one I put on the list just because of how surprising it is that it hasn't appeared already. A dinosaur that has appeared in every single installment of the franchise and is one of people's favorites and of Alan Grant's, of course, we all know that. And I think it's baffling that it has not appeared yet. 
We have not seen any hints of it, and I think it's time that it got its justice and came back to the franchise. <laughs> Number four, the Suka Mimus. The one Spinosaur that we have not gotten to see on in the Jurassic franchise on the screen or on the show is the Suka Mimus. And I think it's definitely time. Being um, one of the bigger Spinosaurids, not bigger than Spinosaurus, the way it's shaped and the, and the way it could be used for more um, aquatic scenes other than the, using the Mosasaur, I think it would be really nice to see. And like others on this list, we know it was in Jurassic World in one of the um, park's um, tour rides, that being of Cretaceous Cruise, along with what's next on the list. Number 3, the Mechicanthosaurus. Like Suchomimus, it was also in Jurassic World's um, theme ride, Cretaceous Cruise. However, like it, it has never been seen yet. And also, like the Edmontosaurus, which we said at number 9, it also fell into extinction before the events of Fallen Kingdom, which means that we could have a high chance of seeing it, or at least seeing its fall back into extinction. And I think it would be really nice to see this smaller and more unknown dinosaur make an appearance. Number two, the Spinosaurus. Now this is one that I think we can all agree what we want to see in, in the show. With it being teased in every season, in both seasons, and even getting a Camp Cretaceous toy version, and with many people think ha, hearing rumors about its own return, I think people will be happy to see it. We know that Spinosaurus was on Isla Nublar during the events of Jurassic World, and even though there's been confusing things about whether it was extinct or not after, before the events of Fallen Kingdom, I think either way, people would love to see this guy return. After all, He's one of the most famous dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise. And who knows, maybe we'll get him to fight a T-Rex. And maybe more. And before we get on to number one, I want to give some honorable mentions. My first honorable mention is the Apatosaurus. A sort pod that first appeared in Jurassic World, but interestingly has not appeared in either of the first two seasons. Which is a little sh strange, as it was shown in like all the um enclosures in the first film and i think that it definitely return needs a return other honorable mentions include the ichthyosaurus which like the plesiosaurus would be a nice aquatic reptile to see in the um more more aquatic zones after all we've, we've only seen one let's see more and that number one The Dilophosaurus. Now, this is one that we all need, not want, need to show up. It's been in, it's been begged for 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 since the first movie to make a return, and I think that we just want to see even like a small taste of it, like maybe seeing it in the background, like even that, like actually seeing its physical body, even if it's not doing anything. I think that would be really nice to see. And especially with it being um, most likely to return in Jurassic World Dominion, I think it would be a nice um, taste test for before we get the entree, if you know what I mean. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the list. What Which dinosaurs on this list do you think have a higher chance in showing up? Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already and you want to join the hunt, hit the subscribe button, be safe, and until the next ranking video, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye